Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are here for top picks and top skips. I hope you guys had a wonderful week. Happy Friday. I hope you guys are enjoying your Friday. I am happy to be here today. I have been feeling a little bit under the weather with the constant on the go, on the go. I knew it was going to catch up with me, but I am taking care of myself. I did take a little cat nap, like a 15 minute nap while the baby was around to be able to do this video because I honestly my body was like no you need rest and I'm like no I need to film this for you guys so I am here with top picks and skips you guys I'm so excited about this week I hope you guys have been keeping an eye on all these releases because there are some that are still churning by the time this video goes up I'm pretty sure there's a lot more that has released because it is ridiculous how much makeup what in the world? I'm constantly having bugs down here. I don't get it. I don't get it. Anyway, let's get into top picks and skips. All right, so first off, we have Wet n Wild. They have jumped on the bandwagon of body liquid highlighters. I love body liquid highlighters. I tend to just use a liquid highlighter if I want to accentuate things. But I honestly wouldn't mind this. This is available September 27th. It is a Walmart exclusive. It comes in three different shades. These are going to, they're kind of like a liquid uh, formula. It's very pretty. Honestly, I would purchase these. I really would. It's a shame that they're coming out now and not during the summertime because I would have appreciated it more during the summer than now. But if I'm going to buy any liquid highlighter like this, I wouldn't spend an arm and leg. I would go with Wet n Wild. BH Cosmetics has come out with a holiday palette. This is called the Royal Affair. This is available at Ulta, and I believe this past week, if it's still available now, I'm not sure, it was on sale for 40% off or something, so it was only like 10 bucks, around like $10 and some, some change. This palette um, is very safe. I feel like this palette is very safe. You only get a few pops of shades. It really, I think my expectations for BH Cosmetics has really gotten high, especially with that weekend festival palette like they've really knocked it out of the park with that one and this one is eh, if you like a little bit of color this is something for you um not for me it's kind of boring to me but Natasha Denona I'm gonna put both of these palettes up because she is constantly releasing mini eyeshadow palettes these are all $25 available September 25th which I'm pretty sure available already by the time you see this video the first one is the top one that I have is called the mini star palette and then the other one that she has is a cranberry palette um, the cranberry palette is $48 I believe this one's full size so it's not a mini and it brings four a new shades in the cranberry one and that one is coming soon. We have, I have no idea. I think that for the holiday season, I might crack into a $25 Natasha Denona eyeshadow palette. The five, the quad, the quint, whatever. So leave me down in the comment section which one you guys would recommend out of all the minis because I think that's what I'm going to end up doing just to try the formula out finally. Now on to Give Me Glow Cosmetics. Last week I spoke to you guys about two quads that they came out with and oh my gosh, I really, really want them. This time they've come out with a third one. It's called Money Moves and these are greens and a nice like silver green undertone shimmer shade. I really, really want this one specifically. They are $20 for four eyeshadows, so that's like $5 a piece. Kind of like Makeup Geek and you're getting your big eye, eyeshadow pans. I am interested in them. These are limited edition, so I don't know how long they're going to be on their website. But if you're interested, I would recommend these. These seem amazing swatches, look great. Everyone is a fan of these. Miss Persona Cosmetics is coming out with Color Theory Eye Kits. One in copper and the other one is in pink. These will include five shadow palette, a full-size multi-use brush, and a full-size 24-hour waterproof eyeliner, one in brown and one in plum. These are actually not a bad idea if you think about it because you're going to try her eyeshadows and you don't need a big palette of it. You're trying out her new brush and you're trying out an eyeliner. These are all new to her brand, so I think this is smart of her to do. It comes in a cute little bag. And these are available October 2nd. They're going to be $38 a piece. So if you're interested in those, um, you have two options to check out. Nomad Cosmetics. This is an indie brand. They have come out with a new palette. It's called the Berlin Palette. Now this one, um, 
They just released uh, the actual palette. It will be available already by the time you see this video. I do not know the cost. I am assuming around $37 because that's the last palette that I was interested in cost. So I'm assuming about $37. It's okay. I don't know. I need to see swatches of this because all I keep seeing is those internet pictures like the website internet pictures you understand what i'm talking about like when you go on ulta's website and you see the picture but it really doesn't look like the actual palette when you get it i feel like that's what this palette is giving me so i have to see swatches before i even consider it because i have been wanting to try this brand but i haven't found just yet what i want to get oh i forgot to look up how to say this next one goodness i know one of you guys had mentioned it to me and i forgot again it's menagerie Men Minajiri Cosmetics. Oh, it's the Ferro palette. I know a few of you have been eyeing this one as well with me. They have, at this point when I am filming this video, they've come out with eight out of 12 eyeshadows in every single one I have fallen head over heels for. I want this palette. I am saving for this palette. This palette's gonna be 100% mine. I want it, want it, want it. Yes, definitely. And I'm pretty sure they're in the United States so I can don't have to pay an arm and a leg for shipping. Miss Candy Johnson, she uh, posted a picture. It's a sneak peek of something orange. We have no clue what it is. Um, I don't even know what brand it's for. Let's see, does it even say? No, we only have a sneak peek. We know it's oranges, she's naked, she's glowing. <sighs> could be something, I don't know what it could possibly be. Maybe a fragrance, who knows, but she is, she is definitely sneak peeking something. Juvia's Place does not stop. I hope Juvia's Place does not become another ColourPop where I can't keep up with their releases. They are coming out with the Warrior 2 palette. And I'm pretty sure back in the beginning of the summer, they had leaked this out. And the Warrior 2 palette, my assumption, is going to be an all matte palette. That's my assumption. I don't know because the first Warrior palette was all very vibrant neutral shades. So this one, I'm assuming is going to be all matte. Um, I don't know. We're going to see. It's coming soon. We have no idea what the details are. If you've been following me for a very long time, you guys know that I will be getting it regardless of what it is. Black Moon Cosmetics. This is another indie brand I'm such a fan of. I own quite a few of the liquid lipsticks because I think their formula is amazing. They are releasing on September 28th three new liquid lipsticks. Grim, Ashes, and Gloom, and then Buried Nightmare and Genie are the new ones. Um, I love the second uh, bunch, the Buried, uh, Buried Nightmare and Genie. I think that they're beautiful. I prefer the Buried and the Genie. They're really, really beautiful. I love them. This is the brand that made me fall in love with that rustic orange lip. It's from them. This is where it all started, and I am such a fan of their liquid lipsticks if you haven't tried them. Now here's an interesting one. Maybelline is coming out with a new eyeshadow palette. It's called the Countdown Palette. This is 12 neutral glam shades coming soon. It is now available in France, I believe. I don't know if it's coming to the United States, but if it is, I'm curious because number one, I can't stand Maybelline's eyeshadow formula. I think they suck. Every one that I've tried is just terrible. At least their palette forms. I'm not talking about their singles and I'm not talking about their little quads that they have. I'm talking about their palettes. Every one that I've tried is terrible and I've just given up on buying any new ones that they have come out with. So I want to hear reviews on this before I even consider it because I'm still not interested in it, honestly. Fenty Beauty has come out with new liquid lipsticks. Looks like she's coming out with four liquid lipsticks. Um, Uncensored, which is a red. Oh, no, five. Uncensored is a red. Uncuffed is a rose mauve nude. Unveil is a choco brown. Unbutton is a beige nude. And Uninvited is a black. So it looks like Unbutton and Uninvited will be available October 1st. All the rest are available now. These are a 12-hour liquid lip with a soft matte finish. I've heard great things about this liquid lip. The first one that she came out with was red. How often am I gonna wear red? So I never bothered to buy it, but I might be interested. Might. Might put it on my Christmas list because you guys know I have not been buying any lip products. So we have another collaboration with Becca and Chrissy, Chrissy Teigen again. This is their third collaboration. It looks like she's coming out with two sets 
The first set is a four products that are eye, lip, cheek, and face. It's $44. And the second one is called the Lip Icing Glow Gloss Kit, which is $29. And it is four limited edition lip glosses. So if you're a fan of Chrissy Teigen, you have something from her. Or if you like these, I think that gloss set looks cute for like splitting into a stocking stuffer. It looks really pretty and the, sh and the shades are very pretty. Huda Beauty is coming out with a new eyeshadow palette. Man, she is on a roll. It's called the New Nude. Just by the name, I'm assuming it's all nudes because she came out with all those bright eyeshadow palettes at uh, the little mini ones. So I'm assuming this is an all nude palette, probably a bunch of gold and browns and boring. So I probably won't even get this one. The packaging looks pretty, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to skip out on that one. Last but not least, we have a sneak peek of a yet another Natasha Denona palette. This is the new gold eyeshadow palette. It will be available October 2nd on Beautylish and Sephora. And it is basically a bunch of gold with cooler toned eyeshadows. Looks like a nice green teal and a gray. Uh, if I were to say anything about this palette, I think this one by far is her worst one. It just, I don't know. It looks like a, just a bunch of very pale, soft mattes with a bunch of bright golds. This is definitely, like I don't even feel like this is something I'd wear every day. I don't know. I like two pops of blues. Like I, This one is by far my f least favorite of hers. I don't like it at all. Mm -mm. Nope. Don't like that one at all. And how much is this one? I'm sure, 120 some dollars. Mm. So that is it for my top picks and skips, you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. And for those that tagged me on some of these posts, thank you very much. Don't forget to tag me if you see anything that's released that you want me to talk about. I will talk about it in the following weeks in my top picks and skips. I will link a list all of these as I always do down in the description box. I hope you have a wonderful weekend, you guys. I will ch uh, speak with you guys on Monday with a new video. And don't forget that a smile is the best makeup a girl can wear. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.